Hi, I'm Liz Jensen. For over 20 years, I've been a nurse executive and educator, and I'm currently the clinical director at Direct Supply. Obtaining a bladder volume or a post-void residual using bladder ultrasound technology is a recommended best practice and an important addition to your clinical continence program. Today, I'm going to show you how easy it is to use the Direct Supply Attendant Bladder Scanner. The Direct Supply Attendant Bladder Scanner uses ultrasound waves to calculate the fluid volume in the bladder. Here are some tips to help ensure you are obtaining the best possible scan. To help obtain better results when scanning, you should first assist the resident into a comfortable position, lying down with the head slightly elevated. Avoid elevating the feet. This helps position the bladder for the scan. After turning on the unit, select patient and then press male or female. Remember, if a female resident has had a hysterectomy, you'll need to select the male option in order for the bladder scanner to calculate the correct volume. To return to the main menu, press OK. Ultrasound gel promotes the conduction of the ultrasound waves. You'll want to use an adequate amount of water-soluble ultrasound gel when conducting the scan. Consider the size of a quarter when applying the gel. You'll next want to initiate the scan by placing the probe two inches above the pubic bone straight down. Apply a slight amount of pressure. Use the pre-scan feature to locate the bladder by pressing and holding the blue button on the probe. Slightly rotate the tip of the probe towards the resident's feet to maximize the view of the bladder. Bladder volume will appear on the pre-scan screen as a darker black image Adjust the probe until the image is centered in the scan screen. Hold the probe steady and release the blue button to conduct the scan. The probe will vibrate slightly and the screen will indicate calculating to let you know the scan is being completed. Do not move the probe until the calculating step is complete. After the scan is complete, the crosshair symbol on the screen will show an image of the volume and the volume amount in milliliters on the screen. You'll know you obtained a good scan if the image is as large and centered as possible in the middle of the crosshairs. If the image is not fully centered or appears small or spike-like, the scan should be completed again. Consider conducting additional scans to allow for variances that may occur that affect the scan. Variances can include, but may not be limited to, residents shifting or changing position, variances in probe placement, and pressure used during the scan. The attendant bladder scanner does not require regular calibration or accuracy checks. Your bladder scanner unit has been rated for a plus or minus 15% accuracy variance. If you are having difficulty obtaining a scan with consistent readings that are greater or less than 15% of the scanned volume versus voided volume, consider the following troubleshooting tips. Verify the probe and or unit has not been dropped or damaged. Certain residents may have clinical conditions that affect the accuracy of the scan, such as abdominal scar tissue, prolapsed pelvic organs, or obesity. Discuss these findings with the resident's physician to determine if additional interventions may be required. Consider conducting scans on more than one resident to help determine if you are having consistent inaccuracies. Confirm that all staff members are using the bladder scanner consistently. If concerns persist, contact your direct supply account manager to arrange for an accuracy check. The attendant bladder scanner unit and probe should be cleaned between each resident use. Options for cleaning include Clorox germicidal bleach wipes or Athea Spec 4 disinfecting wipes. When cleaning, be sure to wipe both the probe and cord and allow to dry completely before reholstering. After cleaning the probe, clean the bladder scanner unit. The Athea Spec 4 wipes can be used to clean the entire unit, including the touch screen. The Clorox germicidal wipes may only be used on the unit, not the touch screen. The touch screen may also be cleaned with a soft cloth, such as a soft paper towel or cotton pad with a mild detergent and water. 
Always refer to the product label for cleaning instructions and details about the specific organisms and viruses the product is designed to be effective against. Thanks for watching this direct supply attendant bladder scanner video. For more information, please view our other videos or contact your direct supply account manager.